Good afternoon. It is 1230 on your Wednesday. I'm Julie Broughton. This is Take Six. I hope your day is going well so far. We're so happy you decided to spend a little bit of time with us this afternoon. Now, I will tell you, we are tracking some isolated showers once again today. But of course, the very important Halloween forecast is something a lot of folks are wanting to know. We will check your forecast for you in just a few minutes. We will also check in with one of our theme park experts, Haley Coombs. She will have an update on Dark Universe at Universal Orlando's Epic Universe. She will be revealing a first look at some of the monsters that are waiting for us when the park opens coming up in 2025. But first, we're going to check in with New Six investigator Mike DeForest. He has an update to a story. Mike, I feel like we've been talking about this tax prep service that you have an update about for, for years now. And you said you first started getting some complaints about this particular service about five years ago. And now you have some new information for us. Yeah, the wheels of justice turn slowly, but they are starting to turn as our as our story today is going to show you. Yeah, it was about five years ago uh, we started getting complaints about uh, this tax preparation company. You've seen similar businesses in strip malls. Uh, you might see the Statue of Liberty waving a torch outside uh, the strip mall around tax time and, and there's all different companies. Uh, but this one particular one we were getting complaints about because uh, people paid the money sometimes up to $999 to do their taxes and then they're getting these big refunds back and then next thing you know the IRS is auditing them and saying hey you got to give us that money back your tax refund uh, your tax return was erroneous or as federal authorities now say it was fraudulent and they are now going after the operators of this tax prep business uh, we reported a couple months ago the, they uh, obtained some indictments against some of the owners and employees and now some of them are starting to plead guilty as you're about to hear I honestly, I, I didn't even look, I didn't understand any of this stuff. Doreen Bowden hates doing her own taxes. Back in 2020, during the COVID pandemic, she hired Neighborhood Advanced Tax to file her return. And when I went there, they told me that they can give me a bigger refund. I asked him, I said, how is it possible that you're getting people back a lot of money? Anita McKim used the same company. And he said, well, um, we get you the most um, exemptions and deductions possible. Both women did receive large tax refunds, but they were later forced to pay it all back to the government after receiving letters from the IRS saying they were being audited. You know, when I, I got this, honestly, I was in tears. Now, one of the owners of Neighborhood Advanced Tax has pleaded guilty to a federal crime. Emanuel Almanor admits he conspired with others at the company to defraud the IRS. As part of a plea deal, Almanor has agreed to pay more than $12 million in restitution. An employee of the company, Abril de la Cruz, has pleaded guilty to the same charge. She's agreed to repay the government nearly $3 million. Another employee, Kayla Simone de Costa, says she'll pay back about a half million dollars as part of her guilty plea. The three tax preparers who've pleaded guilty will be sentenced in the next few months. They each face a maximum of up to five years in prison, but the government says it will be asking the judge for reduced sentences because of those plea deals. Mike DeForest, News 6. And that's the story that ran uh, this morning. We've got a little bit more in-depth version on ClickOrlando.com, as well as some suggestions from the IRS. I know a lot of folks don't necessarily like taking suggestions from the IRS, uh, but one helpful suggestion that they provide on their website is how uh, to choose a reputable tax preparer. Like we mentioned, mm -hmm. at tax time, uh, you drive down the road and you'll see uh, the, all those uh, businesses, often in strip malls, but also uh, yeah. offices everywhere and it can be tough sometimes to know which one do you trust with your taxes because mm -hmm. it's not just in this case getting an accurate refund back or paying the accurate amount to the government if you owe taxes but you're also entrusting them with lots of personal information your social security numbers your income uh, information about your family so that's why it's very important to find one that you can trust and I think when you choose someone, you just assume that they're going to do the right thing. And I think a lot of people also maybe don't realize that if you get X amount back and it's not accurate, that, yeah, you're going to be on the hook for that because you're signing all of the returns and you're signing everything. And it just had to be so jarring for these people that entrusted all that information to then be on the hook to pay all that money back. No, you're, you're right. Uh, you as the tax filer are ultimately responsible. And I know when we first did this story, uh, we saw some comments, people going, really, these 
people filing. They didn't realize that they, they really thought they were getting back these these big refunds. And there was some skepticism. And perhaps out there, there were some of these customers who may have knowingly turned their head and wink, wink and knew that they were may not they were getting a, a better deal than they should have in terms of their tax returns. However, I do need to point out that according to federal authorities, uh, they say that this particular tax company actually took steps and trained its employees on how mm. to, in essence, hide this from the customers, from the filers. So if uh, federal authorities are to be believed, this company took steps to try to conceal this uh, so uh, that you're basically naive to the fact mm. uh, as a customer, as a filer, that yeah. this information is being submitted to the government on your behalf. But at the end of the day, ultimately, it's your signature on that tax yeah. return and you're ultimately responsible for paying that if, uh, if you receive too much of a refund. Yeah, my dad never likes me to share this with people, but I don't think he's a regular viewer of Take Six as he sits up in southern Indiana. He is a retired federal IRS agent. And so when I first started in TV, people will be like, oh, you can deduct your hair. You can do this. You can do all that. And my dad was always like, no, don't do that. And watch out who you choose because there are so many bad people doing taxes and you're the one responsible. So I feel like that has just been ingrained being raised by an IRS agent. But, you know, a lot of people, you said there was some skepticism, but a lot of people just, you know, don't know a lot of these things. You trust these people. And then, man, that's tough that it turned out this way for so many of and, them. And that is the allegation against this mm -hmm. company is uh, you, you people who are approaching them uh, perhaps don't know about what mm -hmm. they are entitled to. And, and according to federal authorities, this company was leading people to believe that they were entitled to certain deductions, certain business related deductions and such that they truly were not entitled to. And it, it all goes back to trust. Uh, if you truly do not understand that, and then you are putting your trust in these tax preparers to be mm -hmm. telling you the right thing and filling out the right numbers on those forms. Yeah. And you have more on this coming up tonight at six. Correct. Yes. Yeah, six o'clock. A little bit All more right. in-depth version about uh, some of the allegations and, uh, and the fate of some of the other employees mm -hmm. uh, who are still awaiting trial on this. Okay. All right. And those tips on ClickOrlando.com, how to make sure you are choosing a legit tax preparer. They're all right there. All right. Thank you so much, Mick DeForest. Yep. And as we mentioned earlier, we will have a check of your very important trick-or-treating forecast coming up in just a few minutes. And we're also going to check in with Haley Coombs, one of our digital journalists and our theme park experts, with a preview on an update on Epic Universe. We're going to take a short break, and we will be right back.
It is 1240. I'm Julie Broughton. Welcome back to Take Six. I feel like this next topic is really appropriate considering that Halloween is tomorrow. And so this is this is a nice spooky update for us from our digital journalist and our theme park expert, Haley Coombs. Haley, yesterday I saw you when you were when you first got this update about Dark Universe and finally getting a glimpse of some of these monsters. You were very excited with what you were seeing. Yes, yes. In fact, I think you even saw me run over to our creative yes. producer wanting to put together a reel because, yeah, this this is, from our polls online, Dark Universe is running away in terms of being the favorite that people are, are most interested in in terms of the epic universe world. So, and the fact that they dropped this new, these new details right before Halloween, yes. I mean, come on, how fitting, right? <laughs> Yeah, and so for people who maybe the phrase Dark Universe doesn't ring a bell for them, this is part of Epic Universe at Universal that is reimagining the classic monsters. Is that is yes. that the accurate way to put it? Absolutely, the classic Universal monsters. And not only did we see what is going to be in their star attraction, Monsters Unchained, the Frankenstein experiment, but we also found out details of the land itself. And so it just, this is truly going to be a love letter to mm -hmm. the universal monster legacy yeah. and so what we're seeing right here that's the wolf man he's going to be one of 14 animatronics wow. in that ride that's of course frankenstein so and the fun fact about frankenstein is that he is going to be larger than life he's going to stand over nine feet tall and weigh over 800 pounds so wow. the detail <laughs> thing. Yes. And the right? detail, I mean, just like the way the uh, who's that wolf man, you said that's yes. his name, the way yes. his face moves and just the mm -hmm. details. Of course, I mean, that's what we expected, because, of course, we're talking about Universal here. But that's incredible. Is that the Black Lagoon creature from the Black yes, Lagoon? Yes. Skill man from the Black Lagoon. And of course, Dracula. And what the story is in this attraction is it's going to be led by Dr. Victoria Frankenstein. And she's trying to prove to the world that she's a worthy scientist conducting all these experiments on these monsters and the one monster she thought she could handle is Dracula and so you could probably guess how that turns out so but then all the monsters go havoc and that's when guests get to experience all these encounters and you know we're just seeing these monsters right now there's going to be more like I said there's 14 animatronics in this ride but then there's also going to be references to other monsters in lore so it just it, it this is just, you know, scratching the surface. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, so just looking at Dracula there, I feel like sometimes you see Dracula and he, he doesn't look all that scary. He's just kind of yeah. like a, you know, kind of like a cool, hot vampire. This <laughs> one looks, I mean, these are scary, intense monsters. This yes. is not like a sanitized version of monsters. This is right? intense. The way he's like posing like that and his mm -hmm. eyes. Yeah, like I... It, I it's going to be a heart rushing attraction mm -hmm. for sure. Like, it, I mean, jump scares and, you know, and I was listening to the creative um, team talk about this ride and, and, and even all of dark universes. Yes. You know, fear is a factor in this attraction in this world, but they want guests to feel rewarded going through it. I mean, there's just going to be so much to take in. So it's like how would you would encounter, you know, take on a um, a thrill ride, you know, a big coaster. And it's like once you conquer it, you're like, oh, I feel great. But that's how the team wants you to feel in dark universe. So, but yeah. <laughs> so this attraction where the 14 animatronics will, will be, this is a ride. Is it like a roller coaster? Is it, you know, you kind of just like sit and shuttle through. Do you, do we know details on that yet? Actually? Yes. I would say the last detail is, is you're going to be, if you've been from what I've seen um, in, in the um, Epic universe preview center with that model Think of it like if you've ever been on uh, Forbidden Journey, it's going to have that technology with that robotic arm, and mm -hmm. guests are going to sit in there. But prior to that, yes, they're going to be going through a queue full of, again, detail. There's going to be jump scares, and then they're going to see this presentation of Dr. Victoria, and that's when actually um, Frankenstein is going to be walking in. Yes, that animatronic is actually going to be walking, too. So, But then that's when, you know, the after things go haywire with Dracula, guests will then be transported on this device and they'll be going through all these, through the catacombs. That's what is underneath oh. the manor is a vampire catacombs. So, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited now. I will tell you, I'm not necessarily a theme park person, but this sounds 
amazing. And so right? this will be opening in May, right? So we, we've got to wait a little bit longer. And we've got some, it looks like we've got some video from Sky 6 kind of giving yep. us a perspective. So again, tell us what we're looking at here from the vantage point of Sky 6. Yeah, yeah. So that right there, um, we just saw the, the, the right now here is the Super Nintendo World. And that's, of course, it borders Celestial Park. So, but, you know, another details they dropped yesterday on Dark Universe is that one of the um, high, uh, landmarks in that area is going to be the Burning uh, Blade Tavern. And one of the big details about that is that the windmill is going to be burning periodically throughout the day. And we found out yesterday that when you hear the bell toll, that's when monsters are going to congregate <gasps> in that area. So kind of think of it as like, thriller in a way, I guess. <laughs> but when you hear that bell toll, that's when you can expect monsters to come out. So that was incredible. That's but, a cool yeah. detail. Do we know right? how often the bell will toll? Is it random? Is it timed? I, I heard every 20 minutes. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I will, yeah, that seems very, of course, periodically, but hey, you're coming in and out of the world and being transported mm -hmm. into other ones. So yeah, likely we'll see some vampires or other monsters roaming around. So, yes. but I know this is, I think this was footage taken last month. And okay. so, but I mean, yeah, just, just all these fine details are coming out. I mean, they were talking about, again, the creative team is talking about the portals exactly. Like they really want you to have that epic transportation into this grand entrance of the world. And, and even in dark universe, we're going to be entering the village of Darkmoor mm -hmm. and they just have, proper placement of the manor and and all the, the restaurants so but yeah and that's footage of these um, sister hotels the Terra Luna and the Stella Nova which they will open early next year so okay. but I know it's so exciting and it, October has been such a big month for Epic Universe because mm -hmm. again we found out the opening dates and the packages uh, ticket options so but yeah. So yeah perfect timing to get a glimpse of some of these monsters do we have any idea when they'll dole out a few more glimpses for us you said there are 14 so we've only seen a few of mm -hmm. them so far yeah I mean I I would hope you know soon enough because I know there's going to be uh, let's see I wrote them down here the Phantom of the Opera is gonna be in there the mummy the brides of Dracula so and even throughout the man or throughout the world you're going to see Igor and the Visible Man. So it, 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 it's just incredible. Like, if you think a monster is going to be left out, probably not. <laughs> There's a monster for everyone. I can't get over yeah. this giant Frankenstein that's going to be walking <laughs> through the attraction. That's pretty amazing. Right, right. I just think about that part in the classic movie where he's with, what, uh, what's her name, Little Maria. And I think that's just going to be like the adult, you know, mm -hmm. like that size comparison. I, I yes. mean, nine feet tall. Yeah, that's insane. hard to even conceptualize, but that's going to yeah. be an intense experience when you see that coming toward you in, in real life, in person. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and and as far as the detail, again, you know, the, the, the creative team was saying that you're going to be feeling their breath. It's going to be that just insane. So, okay. and, and yeah. So all right. I'm, I'm really excited to hear, of course voices and, and all that so yes it sounds like it will be a very immersive experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so for our theme park fans watching who want to see all of your updates where can we find them so um, head over to clickerlano.com slash theme parks there's plenty of epic universe content there and then every week um, I usually put together a the theme park newsletter in the loop theme park scoops it comes out every Friday so um, yes yeah hit subscribe it's free so there's lots of contact on there um, I'll be putting out a lot of holiday stuff soon I've already gotten things in my inbox again about Christmas which yes <laughs> we are almost there you yeah. know a lot of people on November 1st they start you know they start playing Christmas music so <laughs> I'm one of them. I support yes. it. Same, same. I can't wait to decorate. So. I know. I know. Get through <laughs> Halloween, enjoy that, and then up goes mm -hmm. the Christmas tree. You know, got to yes. got to squeeze every moment out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So yes, please hit subscribe. Um, and I always like to hear feedback and keep me in the loop. So, but yeah, thank you. Fabulous. All right, Haley. Thank you so much. This has been a great update. Yes, my pleasure. All right. Now let's get a check of your forecast. We saw quite a bit as far as 
isolated showers yesterday. They were fairly widespread. Not quite as much today. Most of those isolated showers are confined to our southern counties. Here's a look at the radar for you right now. Scanning out, showing through southern Osceola County. We've seen some heavier rain crossing the turnpike. Now moving over into Polk County. And we'll see some of these showers beginning to let up as we move through the day today. So we're certainly not talking about a washout. We're talking about a pretty decent day. Feeling rather nice outside in a lot of spots. It is 85 right now in Cocoa Beach. If you are in Kissimmee, you are 81. 84 in the Villages, 82 in Ocala. Palm Coast, you are 82 degrees as well. Again, the farther west you go, the lower the chance of rain. So highest chance of rain is along the coast, thanks to that onshore component to our winds. But overall, our rain chances today are 20% or less. Here's a look at some of our in-house computer models. We look when we're figuring out the forecast, clouds and rain for Wednesday, 2 o'clock. So that's just in a couple hours from now. Seeing, again, some of those isolated showers that will stick around till about 5 o'clock. But as we take you into the evening hours, most of us will be dry. And then through the overnight hours, the clouds begin to thin a little bit for us. So that is good news for your Halloween forecast, which of course is tomorrow. Our afternoon high tomorrow will be in the low to mid 80s, still keeping it breezy. And then as you're heading out for trick or treating tomorrow evening, we'll be in the 70s, still on the breezy side, but we will be dry. Checking out the tropics for you, no organized systems to talk about. Still, we are watching the Southwest Caribbean for the potential of some development, looking like we could see a tropical depression developing even as soon as this weekend into early next week. National Hurricane Center officially giving about a 40% chance of further development in the next seven days. Seven day forecast showing 85 today, 85 tomorrow. That's where we keep it heading into your weekend with mostly dry conditions and overnight lows around 70. And a reminder, Saturday night into Sunday, make sure you turn the clock back one hour. We fall back this weekend so we can enjoy that extra hour of sleep Saturday night. We'll have much more on your forecast in the tropics coming up on News 6 at 4. If you have any questions or comments for us here at Take 6, head to clickorlando.com slash take 6. Let us know what's on your mind and I'll see you at 4.